Welcome plungers, thanks for pulling up and tapping in. I'm going to do this episode a little bit differently than I usually do because in observation of the world, I realize that these words I'm about to say are very important. So listen carefully, be kind on purpose. Look for every opportunity to be kind. And you have to remember those moments often present themselves as opportunities to not be kind, all right? The moments that you should be the kindest are usually disguised as moments when you should react with ire or sadness or disappointment or disapproval. In those moments, react with kindness and the world will change. Thank you. Welcome. Well, I probably should have said that before, but this is where I've come up with. This is the base. It is finished and I am rather proud of it. So let's jump on this guy and have a look. Oh, ceiling piece missing. I've got to get to that. But this is similar to my last build. But definitely, probably the only big build I'm going to do for this playthrough. So yeah, now you definitely got to go back over there and pick up some of the stuff that we left. So I'm going to go grab, go grab my smithy because I need that. And I want to start building some weapons. I need a crossbow. I need a bunch of stuff. So I don't know if you guys remember this. Pteranodon from the beginning of the playthrough from my last episode, but there he is. And all these tames still need some names. So let's put them down right here, have a rest, and observe this beautiful Carbonemis right here. This is a really good looking Carbonemis. Level 64. not worth taming right now I don't think so let's head to our little island right here and let's grab some stuff okay so uh, I need these two I need this. I definitely need this. And damn, I don't have enough for the smithy to carry that. Uh, let's see. Okay, I got enough room to carry this preserving bin stuff. Um, I guess that stuff could stay there. And uh, this stuff can stay here for the most part. Uh, let's grab our sleeping bag since we got to make a bed. And this has just got. Okay, I don't need any of this. Don't need that. Don't need that. As a matter of fact, where is all this stuff? Yeah. Wait, I'm not wait. I'm not too way down. Oh yeah, but uh, my. Pteranodon will be. So, uh, let's throw some of this stuff back in here because I'm just going to keep all this stuff for the grinder. Oh, I can't put anything back. That's wonderful. And I don't think my guy will be able to take off. Will he? Oh, nope. He will not. So, Let's just dro drop all of this, uh, this thatch stuff. Don't really need it. Let's see. Okay, we're good to fly now. Stay close to the coast because our stamina isn't that great. And as way down as we are, it'll probably be less great. Can we make it to this little island here? That's the, that's the question. No, I don't think so. Oh, yeah, yeah, we can. We, can. we certainly can. Yeah, 
and we can also turn off the sprint to save some of that. Put him down right here. Him? No, put her down right here. I'm not going to misgender things in this series. I kind of promise, so I'll try my best not to. Can this destroy? Oh, it can. It can destroy the trees. But just can't collect wood, which is fine, I guess. So let's get back to our, our base. Okay, now let's put down the smithy and our preserving bin. And our dino storage. Let's throw our dinos in here for safekeeping. Okay, yeah, I got a terror bird and a moss chops. And I'm still contemplating on how to keep them, how to, I, I don't know, I'm still actually contemplating on what I should use as my primary tame, my, my daily driver here. Can you preserve a, you can preserve a sleeping bag, which makes little to no sense. But yeah, let me put this pike here. And I also built this little storage container. So, and I threw a bunch of stuff in here. Some building supplies and yeah. So right now, I think we're gonna try to go out and get ourselves a good tame. So we need, um, gonna need this metal. Um, we're gonna need this wood. Uh, we're gonna need this thatch. I'm just gonna take all the building materials from here, the raw building materials from here. Oh, I got a bed. Okay, I'll lay down that down somewhere. We've got some metal. We have no hide in here. That's it. That's all the building materials we got. Okay, we got some keratin. Okay, there's the rest of it. Fiber, some flint. I can drop that trough. Can take that crystal out. Uh, let's throw some wood in here. And uh, let's throw this metal in here. Let's start some metal going. So these ingots, the rest of our wood in here. So for the wood, the wool, the thatch, uh, the chitin, the fiber, the flint, crystal, the polymer, and the cementing paste, and the oil these drops have been really really good to me so far and uh, yeah. let's try to get a crossbow up here oh I didn't unlock the engram for it I don't think okay get this crossbow going let's replace this with our bow and get some of our arrows on there you gotta definitely try to hit up some drops and I think I got a bunch of arrows in here so I'm, I'm fairly certain I have a bunch of arrows in here. There we go, 87 of them. All right, let's 
go. Okay, let's grab this guy. Let's get on this guy. Oh, wait a minute, I have no, I have no meat. Nothing that I can use to tame, so let's get some of this out. Let's get some of this out. Uh, let's take some oil out of here. I think half of that would work. Throw this in here. Uh, let's see meat. There we go. Wait, wait, wait. I don't want all 70 pieces. No, no, no. Let's do that. Let's get back to the auto stack and uh, let's head out. So we need a large tame. But first, let's see what this drop is hitting for. Oh, this is not a very safe place to put it down. Oh, and the drop is gone. It took too long to get there, I guess. But I need a, a stronger tame. I think I need to unlock the generator. I want to go after a Nathosaur. That's what I want now. As much as I've complained about him before, I think I want one now. So let's see. Let's unlock the generator. Uh, the AA generator, of course. Let's see what we need. 10 electronics and 25 metal ingots. Well, I've got the ingots. And did I unlock electronics? Let's unlock electronics. Uh, electronics. Metal ingot and silica pearls. Do not have a lot of silica pearls, but I know where to get some. Hmm. Might have to go for a low level Nathosaur. I might be able to make one or two. It's a Bronto. I don't know if I want a Bronto right now. I might need one for the eggs. I mean, if I could hit them from this island, that would be great. Let's see. Okay, let's, uh, what's going on here? Oh, I didn't arm? Didn't I take 81 of those things? Did not take 81 of those arrows just now? What level is that, Bronto? 73. Might take quite a bit of arrows to put them down. But I might be here for it. I'm not sure. That is a long way back to the base. I did not anticipate a distance that far. But let's get back there. First, let's rest. Let's see what level this is 32, 35. Let's just go right in our side door over here. I could have sworn I took those uh, Trank arrows. But I guess not. What the hell is this guy doing here? What level are you? 35? Well, one thing I know is that now that you're in here, you are trapped you're just going to be some free levels. Okay. Let's get our arrows. 
because I can't believe that I didn't really put them. Like, I'm supposed to be able to just put them on, right? Your hot bar or whatever. I just gotta put them on my inventory. Okay, here we go. So let's go after this Bronto. And these will be for eggs for kibble. Because we're going to need kibble to get some of these higher level tames. So he's on that island, right? My dude isn't even in render distance yet. Okay, let's throw this guy on passive. And let's get over here. Okay, let's just start it. You're not fast enough, Bronto. I'm just hoping I got enough for these arrows. Oh no. Yeah, you're not fast enough, Bronto. You can do all that trying to sprint that you want. It's not gonna happen. What are you even thinking, buddy? What are you even thinking? Like, this is not gonna end well for you. One more. Okay, well, I mean, at some point he's gonna have to go down. Oh yeah, he's going down soon. Got him. And do I have any fruits or vegetables on me? I do not. And what are you, what's your name? What level are you, 54? Let me come back for you. Let me go get some fruit, some mejo berries. come right back and we'll have ourselves a nice bronto for some eggs eggs for kibble wait a minute i don't even know if that's a male bronto or not <laughs> that would certainly be egg on my face if it's a dude but what are you gonna do you know you gotta oh yeah we're gonna explore that cave at some point too I built pretty close to it. It'll be a shame not to go in there. And I'm glad I built this uh, this base the way I did. I got a little, uh, you know, a little access right there. Okay, I think I put my fruits and vegetables in here. Yes, I did. Let's see if I got a ton of majo berries. Yes, I do. Ton of majo berries. So let's go get this Bronto. And I believe we can fly straight to this island right here. Let's turn our, our advanced. I'm not even, I'm not even exactly sure what it's called, but this spyglass. Awesome spyglass. That is the name of the mod. Awesome spyglass. Yeah, I ain't going after no Istio Soreness put you down right here because I'm not sure if you definitely did not have the stamina to make it so let's get your stamina up and let's get you back over here 
give ourselves a big pronto on this relatively safe island right here. Does anybody know how many arrows it took to tame this thing? It should tame up pretty quick. There we go, guys. Yeah. Oh, there he goes. It's taming really fast. With 100% effectiveness. I guess, yeah, it's a female, so I, I guess I'm not really concerned with the level right now. In fact, the level will probably make it easier to tame. And that torpidity is not going down anytime soon. Let's just give, let's give her all the majos, just in case we don't come right back. I don't think there's any other uh, herbivores that I'm going to try to get while I'm out here. But I do, what I want is a, is a Rex. I want a T-Rex. Can we make it to one of these rocks? I believe so. Okay. Yeah, that Bronto is gonna be ours. That island seems pretty safe. So I'm not really worried about anything uh, attacking it or killing it. Whoa, what the hell are you doing, buddy? What the heck are you doing? What the heck? What the heck? Can't I land on this? I'm about to say, I'm running out of stam quick. Okay, well, there's the red ob. I know there's definitely going to be some brontos on that island, but I did see some stuff on this island here. It's in fact in this killing the daylights out of a out of a manta. But yeah, we're playing the game now, guys. I'm just scratching the surface. I want a Pelagornis too. I really want a Pelagornis. What level are you, buddy? Level 12. Not worthy. Not worthy of the effort. Like, I'm really reluctant to go to the uh, lava island because. I don't have any strong tames. My strongest tame is my Pteranodon right now. And that ain't it. This guy. Oh no, I got a baby Carno. I have a baby Carno. I need to raise it. Let's help this thing out. Yep. I'm just scratching the surface. What level is that? Oh, that Parasaur is level 12. And what about the Diflosaur is level 35? Everybody dead. Okay. You're level 12. How could you possibly be that hard to capture? Very tanky. Very tanky, the, uh, the infants in the game. Very tanky. I mean, I guess it makes sense. You wouldn't want to just be able to one hit a baby. But, yeah, they're extremely tanky. The higher the level, the tankier they are. <laughs> Almost like a waste of time to try to tame them. Oh, the shot. Gotta keep watching that stamina. I don't want to end up dumped in the ocean next to a megalodon or anything like that. That wouldn't be good. I mean, I don't want to go over there and babysit. I'm just scratching the surface. But we're definitely gonna have to explore the interior of some of these islands. Probably starting with the island that I'm on. I just want a better tame. I'm just don't get me wrong. Yeah, don't get me wrong. 
at all because none of the teams are good. To tell you the truth, maybe my terror bird. If I level him up, oh, a spino. What level are you? Level 35 spino. Well, let's not alert him to my presence so he could find himself over here dealing with my Bronto because that would not be good. But we know there's a Spino in the area. And that could definitely bode well. That could be... That could be my, uh, my aggressive tame. I'm just not exactly sure how I would do it. I'd probably do it on the Parasaur. What the hell you thought, man? Come on now. Come on now. Yeah, this Brontosaurus is gonna take a minute. Let's head back over here. This area is pretty familiar because of the last place that I built, which was I think that island right there. I was chasing Parasaur. Not a thing. Here we go, here we go. Out of stam. He may not have known, but I'm a predator. Level 60 Pteranodon. I got my stand back, so let's go over here. Oh, I don't have my stand back. Lovely. Use all that stam. Beating my head against that Diflosaur. I got saddles for almost everything. I'm about to jump on my Ichthyosaurus. Ichthyosaurus. And see what's going on in the ocean. I don't have any scuba yet. I have none. Um, where's that baby Carno? I thought I had a baby Carno. Don't I? It's the Moss Chops. That's the Terror Bird. I thought I picked up a baby Carno. I thought I got one. I guess not. Maybe it's in here. Oh, yes. Baby Carno. Oh, Baby Dodicarus. I forgot about that one. Let's make sure my food trough is good. Oh, I forgot they grow up in the cryo ball. Completely forgot. Everything is going into health for you. And then the next set is going into melee. What about this guy? Yeah. This is a nice Dodicarus. Oh, nice high level too. Let's give you... Let's give all of that into melee. Why not? This is so nice. Oh man, I might need a Dodicarus saddle. Because he looks formidable. Do I make it on me? Okay, I think I have not unlocked it. Yes, I have unlocked. Where do I make it? Smithy. Oh, I was in the smithy. And I already had it queued up to dough. So, Dickerous Saddle, I need Hide and Stone. I don't have enough stone in here. 
I just want to have more stone. Oh yeah, I got plenty of stone. I'm just surprised I don't got no hide. Oh, actually, I do have some hide. I'm fairly certain that I have some hide. Yes, in here. Knew I did, knew I did. I need gasoline. I got some ingots, I didn't make gasoline. So let's put the hide and the stone and hopefully I have enough. Oh no, I got 39 pieces, 38 pieces of hide to go get. Well, that shouldn't be too hard. That shouldn't be too hard at all. There should definitely be a parasol or something around. level of you, you're 16, and you are 86, yeah, I'm not messing with y'all, I'm not ready, I'm not ready, not for two of y'all, maybe one at a time, ooh, an officer, level 57, uh, I'm gonna go for this parasaur right here, and come on, come on. Yep. Let's see how much hide I collect. I need just a little bit more hide. And you are coming with me. Compies. Compies. Can I have my, can I my jerky back? Can I have my jerky back, please? Oh, you took it, didn't you? Thank you. I need just a little bit more hide, don't I? Let's see how much I got. Uh, now you got 48, you got plenty. All right, let's head back. And let's make this go a saddle. That's where we at with it right now. I got an it, it, the whatever that thing is in here. All right, let's let's put you down and let's close this so nothing else can infiltrate our base. Let's close this. Okay, let's grab this. Let's dump this in here. And let's get dough. Dough. I need 10 pieces of hide. My math was way off. I needed 58 pieces. Need a Carno saddle too. This is a nice one too. With the purple and the green. It's, it's, it's nice. It's nice. I mean, there's an icky in here. Maybe he's good for ten pieces. Let's see. Let us see if we can get ten pieces from this icky. We should definitely still be in here. And he took something from me. There we go. Come on, put it down, put it down. What did he take from me? Nothing. Do those things take stuff from you? Because every time one flies, it seems like he's got something in his mouth. Let's get 
that hide. And let's get this in here. Let's make the dough saddle. Do or die. Oh, let me grab some prime meat too. And uh, this is regular prime meat. Oh, prime meat jerky. Yeah, well, it's gonna take a minute for that to be completed. Actually, I should have made the preserving bin. That makes prime meat almost instantly. And you, yes, sir. You now have yourself a saddle. And you are now part of my squad. Let's go get this pronto. Should be almost ready. 99.6. How did I lose uh, taming effectiveness? That's very weird. And of course, you know I can't I can't not go to this drop. And it should kill a couple of minutes. Oh damn, I jumped off too early. I will just take this, this, and this, and I will dump all of that and say thank you. So I can't carry any of that. This thing should definitely be just about finished now. Yeah, it's just eight, so. She just ate. I am really sorry, y'all, for misgendering these things. But it is what it is. And here we are. That is our Bronto with no name, but now he is all ours. And with that said, I'm going to call this episode and wish you guys a happy and health, healthy one. Have a good one. Thanks for tapping in. Thanks for pulling up. Peace.